Uh, it was really a historical project more so than a transportation project. And, and I felt um, that was one of the greatest projects I ever worked on. We had 10 covered bridges that we needed to rehabilitate. Three, maybe two or three of them were actually built by Horace King, who was a slave. And that's just remarkable if you think about a slave with no education, building a bridge that 100 years later, cars were driving on. And they, was, they were the same bridges. Um, that, uh, as a, the position I was in at the time, I shouldn't have been the project manager, but that was something I wanted to do myself. And um, it was amazing to learn the tools that they use to build those bridges. And believe it or not, we, in our specs, we required the contractor to do some of the same things that the bridges were built as. And it was just a testimony to not only Horace Kane, but to the apartment that we had kept these bridges in operation. Nine out of 10 had traffic on it for over 100 years, and they're all over the state of Georgia. And that was um, by far, I've worked on a lot of projects in my life. But to sit there on a bridge and try to recreate feeling how he felt when he built the bridge across a, the, uh, the uh, Chattahoochee River or so, with a mule, no crane, with little hammers that were putting pinholes and holes holding the bridge together and the bridge didn't fall. And you think about some of us who have four and five years of college education on structures that there's no way in this world I could have designed or built the bridge that could have held an ant up. And he built those bridges that went for a hundred years. And I think if anything, we should always remember and acknowledge that that's really the epitome of what this agency is and, and transportation in a nutshell.